Hello my dear friends and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well today. So I was inspired to do a pick a card for everyone. This is going to be a timeless pick a card but is messages that you need to hear right now and what I wanted to do was kind of tap into the Akashic here a little bit um, trying to get a um, overall energy of healing root issues and things like that. So a Akashic reading is a little bit different than just say a regular psychic reading. Um, it kind of sees things from a bigger picture. So I really like getting messages from there. So as you can see, there are three different piles up on the screen. You can take your time looking at them. Or you could look at a couple of them if you feel drawn to it. Sometimes there's messages in one and a message in another that makes sense. But yes, take your time. I've put the timestamps below and I will see you guys at your reading. All right, my pile number ones, this is going to be your reading for messages that you need to hear right now. If I can pick the card up. You chose the card, The Unseen. So those of you that chose this pile, you guys are getting messages from spirit at this time. And you could be intuitive. Um, you may be somebody that is connected to spirit already. But if you aren't, this is a message for you guys to connect. You can do that through tarot cards, through just asking questions, looking for symbols. Make sure that you're paying attention to your day-to-day. -day. See what kind of signs and symbols are coming through because there is a message from spirit that they want to give you. So now we're going to see what else is going on. We have the sun, which is a positive thing. That would be a positive message coming through, right? What else is coming through spirit for my pile number ones? What do they need to hear? Too much, too much, but I'll take this one. We have the two of wands. You guys have a decision that you have to make, don't you? And I feel like the message that is coming through is kind of helping you determine this decision. For some of you, you know, I feel like there's some fear here. And that's why, you know, spirits having to come through and kind of give you some energy here. Um, you're afraid to make this decision. Maybe you guys are stepping out into a, a new uh, adventure here. You know, you're doing something different in your life. And there is always fear around that. As you can see, we have a lot of positive energy coming through connected to this. Let's see what other messages are coming through. We have the chariot, which once again shows me that you guys are having to make a decision. So big decisions are coming through. Maybe some of you are moving. And that's why this has been a difficult one to make. The chariot also talks about taking control of your life. So some of you may feel like you're out of control at this time. And then to make this decision would actually really put you in control of yourself at this time. And so sometimes we're actually afraid to get control over our life because then we are responsible for the things that we do. And I feel like for those of you that chose this pile, it is your time to shine. It's time for you guys to get yourself out there. I feel like that maybe even... Um, I just looked at the unseen card that some of you, you kind of put yourself in the back, um, you know, out of the way a lot of times. And Spirit's like, no, we want you to shine now too. So let's see what else is coming through. This card's funny. It's an extra card. But I still use it. I feel like this is family, you know, somebody that you look up to. For some of you, maybe um, you're living at home. Maybe you rely on your family of some sort. Maybe you're relying on your partner too much. Either way, you are meant to be out there and be doing something on your own. I feel like for those of you, like some of you are going on a trip here. <laughs> you guys are going on a trip and maybe you're going by yourself or you're moving. But like I said, I feel like this is scary. Ooh, look at all this energy here. You guys have a lot of people in your life probably telling you what to do. Maybe you don't quite trust your own um, opinion. And now you have two twos. So this is really about you guys making this decision on your own. There is someone from your past that you can kind of get advice, but it's not about relying on their advice. It's about just taking their opinion and seeing what they, um, you know, what kind of advice they can give you. I felt like this person maybe had a similar past to you, and that's why they're going to be able to help you out at this time. But this is really important. You guys are being pushed to do something on your own, and it's going to be a very positive thing, but you guys got to do it first. And you can't listen to anyone else. Let's see what else is coming through. 
other messages are coming through for Pio One. Ooh, see this, I'm really just getting the energy that you guys are afraid to do something here. You're afraid to get yourself out there. You don't feel like you have enough experience. You don't feel like you have enough money. You don't feel like you just have the means in order to do what you're trying to do here to make this decision to move forward. Let's draw some of these cards. What other messages? It's a lot. Too much. Oh, you want to come out. Accusation. So some of you, now this does um, have to do with money a lot of times and finances, but this could be falling in love at work. But this is definitely a romance going on too. This could be that you have fallen in love and you're kind of afraid to tell your family, but there is another two, you guys. So this is pretty interesting. We have three twos. So look for two, 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 you know, as you're going about your day. And if you see it, this is going to be one of the symbols, the messages from spirit for you guys. This card right here, though, really talks a lot about um, having this strong desire to succeed financially. And so you have this desire, you have this passion. We have the sun and Taurus. Here. I feel like you guys are actually lacking confidence in yourself. And this is the message that's coming through. It's like, yes, you can do this. Yes, you can move forward. You can trust yourself. Don't listen to what other people say. If you have a desire to do this thing, now's the time to go. You're almost in this crossroads, you guys. When we're at a crossroads, our future isn't quite determined yet. So um, it's important for you guys to start to make a decision so you can, you know, start to create that future that you like, manifest the future that you like, because you are kind of in this limbo here, uh, you know, making a decision. Let's draw some other cards for you guys. I'm running into my camera. What other messages are coming through? Okay, I'll take them. We have fortune. You guys, look how much, look at how many suns we have. This is just vitality, life force, and abundance. Um, we have the sun card, which is the most positive card in the tarot deck. You have fortune, you have acquisition. All having to do with finances here too. You guys need to step into your passion. You need to not be so afraid. Um, because you guys know what to do. You do have what it takes to make it. And you guys are going to be very successful when you do. We also have the bluff card. I want to make sure we can see that. And the bluff card is actually another confirmation to me that this is, you guys are meant to throw yourself out there into something. This is bluff, not in a bad way. This is Jupiter in Gemini. It is about, you know, um, somebody has to do the thing first. So, you know, a lot of times we get scared. Say you are, the first time you do a tarot reading, you know, it's scary. You don't want to mess up, but you actually have to do that reading in order to get experience. This is where you're at. You have to put yourself out there. You have to actually have to do the thing if you want to manifest it into your life, if you want to see it crystallized. You know, I feel like you guys are kind of at this crossroads and I'm seeing it everywhere, but it's like one side could be, you know, okay, you're blinded. You're not sure which way to go and you end up on a road either back with your family or unhappy or you can go to the side, which I think it's interesting how the cards are laid out to the side where, you know, things are moving forward that, you know, your passions and desires are fulfilled and manifesting in your life. Like I said, you guys have so many indicators that you guys are going to be successful at what you do here. And I just looked back at the unseen and this still reminded me of the fact that you guys have to put yourself out there first. Sometimes we can't see the road in front of us. We don't know how things are going to happen. We have to put one foot in the other to kind of see what's going to happen next. But the good news is we create our reality. We create our life. So whatever energy you're focusing on, whatever you're thinking about, wherever you're thinking about going will start to manifest in your life. You know, removing these doubts. Um, and insecurities that you have for yourself because you guys have what it takes, like I said, but you have to start doing it first. You have to take that leap of faith. You have to try it first. And it may not be perfect at first. That's the thing. You know, a lot of times I'll do something or and I know people around me, they'll do something and expect it to be perfect the first time. That's not always the case. You have to try and practice over and over again. We're going to draw one more card for you guys. Let's see. 
We have home. This is interesting too because we have the chariot also and this is, um, you know, all about cancer energy, which is home, family, and things like that. You guys may feel uncomfortable leaving your home. Whenever I pulled this card, I was getting that like you're comfortable where you're at and you don't want to step out of that comfort zone. Um, and, you know, you can make a home wherever you want. You just have to keep moving forward. So you're never going to be comfortable with what you're doing until you start doing it. And the best thing, you know, the best advice I can give you guys is to create home in yourself. And I know that sounds kind of cheesy, but it's true. If you can feel at rest and peaceful in yourself most of the time, then you can go anywhere and do anything. And then no one's really going to bother you because I felt you guys definitely have people breathing down your neck. You have these people telling you what to do and they want to tell you what to do. And I feel like you've kind of allowed that for a while. So now is the time for you guys to take control of your life again and get out there and get on your own. You guys are going to be successful this is your message and your sign from spirit. So I think that is all the messages that I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please leave a comment below and have a super blessed day, you guys. All right, my pile number twos. This is the card that you guys chose. You chose the warrior, which is an amazing card. This means you guys are probably in a big change in your life. I'm seeing um, the 10 here also. You're going through changes, but you are powering through them. Um, and if you're not, this reading is going to help give you a little bit of clarity about what's going on because there is a message here for you guys to have this total confidence in yourself because of the thing that you're doing next. Now, my pile number one was kind of uh, like it's time to make a decision. You guys know what you're supposed to do um, here and you're either doing it, like I said, and you have the confidence or you're lacking it at this time. So let's see what messages are coming through for pile number two. What do you guys need to hear? Boy, you have the Ace of Cups, which is a positive card. Let's see what else is coming through. For some of you, I really feel like you're just a... You, you got the bull by the horns kind of thing. Like you're running through life. Let's see what else is coming through. What messages are coming through for my pile number two? Mm, you guys are very hard workers, I feel like, and definitely have changes in destiny coming through. So you guys might have recently gone through a heartbreak and you guys are, like I said, powering through. It's almost like this situation happened to you guys. And you're almost ignoring that it hurt you, <laughs> that it was kind of emotional. Um, this, like I said, could be a relationship that you went through. But you're going through, like I said, a lot of changes. They seem to be positive ones. But if you notice, we have the Knight of Pentacles here. And these could be going, these changes could be happening too slow for you. Um, you may be feeling like things aren't moving that quickly. And this is because you're ignoring something in this. And I'm going to keep drawing some, I want to draw on this. Wheel of Fortune really quick. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Yeah, you guys are definitely uh, like fire signs is what I'm feeling like. And I did. I feel like this things are just going too slowly for you at this time. Maybe your mind is racing. And you don't know what to do. You keep trying to figure things out. This is impulsive. So don't do anything impulsive at this time. Um, because you guys are going through this life-changing event. This is about destiny and aligning you to your soul purpose and path. Boy. Yep. So whatever it is that you guys just went through and came out of, this was a karmic cycle. Some of you could have lost family. Um, like I said, relationships, this was a pretty devastating thing, but I feel like you just haven't taken time in order to process this. Um, and this is causing you to kind of slow down because a lot of times when we have things like this happen, when there's a, you know, a lesson from spirit from the universe, it's really important that we stop and do it. And if we don't stop and learn it, then spirit will stop us and our world will slow down until we have learned it or we'll keep running into blocks. Ah, it keeps on bringing out protection. We have the moon in Aries. Like I said, you guys have this like fire energy about you. Maybe you have some major fire placements, 
but you guys are overprotective. You're the warriors. You're the ones that's strong for everybody, but I feel like there is something you're missing here. It's like you don't have to be strong at this time, that you need to take time to feel your emotion. Let's see what else is coming through. I'm going to put this over here. Make sure you can see it. What other messages are coming through from my pile number two? That one's flipped over. I'm just going to intuitively draw in a second. Es eccentricity. Nope. What is coming through from my pile number twos? What messages do they need to know, spirit? Detachment. This is what I feel like you guys are doing. There's, okay, so for some of you, please don't get mad at me. Um, detachment always reminds me of, you know, like meaningless sex. Going out and doing something in order to, or going out and getting drunk, like to not feel things. You're just doing it to kind of pass your time to have fun and kind of escape from reality. So I feel like that's what you guys are doing at this time. And it's really important that you kind of feel your emotions. And that's kind of, that's the last thing that a lot of times we want to do is feel our emotions. But in order for you to actually learn and grow, this is going to be super important. And like I said, I feel like you're not even going to be able to move forward very quickly until you're able to kind of process these things. Now, with the detachment card also, I feel like, you know, you guys should talk to a friend. There's somebody that maybe you're close to or just somebody, you know, maybe in your family or something that you guys should talk to about what is going on. Like I said, this situation has hurt you more than what you may realize. So we're going to actually pull some other cards here. What other messages are coming through from my pile number two? Oh, okay. Forgiveness. Okay. <laughs> now this makes perfect sense. All right, you guys. So we have the three of hearts here. We have the detachment. Like I said, I just kept feeling like you guys, uh, there's something that you're ignoring. You're not sensing your emotions here. So if you guys had something negative happen to you, a heartbreak, somebody has hurt you and you're actually hanging on to this, but kind of ignoring it too, it closes down your heart. It closes down your connections. It detaches you from other people. So if you're even trying to look for a new relationship or you're just trying to connect with people in general, it's very hard to do. Your heart is closed down. It's protecting itself. So in order for you guys to be able to move forward, get out of this karmic loop and cycle, you're not meant to be upset and just push forward and be the warrior all the time, is to forgive. And forgiveness isn't just about, you know, going to somebody and being like, you know what? you know, I, I forgive you for everything you did. You can come back into my life. No, forgiveness happens within you. It's you letting go of this and realizing there was something about it you needed to learn. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody's learning at this time and we all are one. So this is about kind of doing that inner work and doing the forgiveness. Like I said, it doesn't mean they need to come back in your life. That is not what I'm saying. But this is about working in your heart chakra and really removing this um, pain and anger and sadness that's within you. Because it will block you, like I said, from other connections. If you're trying to, uh, even if you're, you're dating someone else or you're connected with somebody else right now, you're going to have a hard time connecting with them because of this. And a lot of times people don't realize that they have a hard time connecting with the partner, their next partner, because they haven't forgiven their last partner. They haven't let go of it. Now I want to draw on this world card. We're already getting stuff. We have the hermit. So this is about you taking time to yourself. You guys need to take a little time. Start to heal this part of you. Process this, this situation that happened. For some of you, this happened when you were younger. I, I don't know. I just heard this too. Um, from spirit. This is connected to a father figure that hurt you from when you were a child. And it is now blocking you because it's time for you to heal this. And so when you do heal this, you're going to be able to move forward. Things won't feel like they're just stagnant because I sense that that's what's going on for you guys right now. But you guys need to take this time to heal. Heal your heart. Forgive. This is going to be so important for you. I'm going to go ahead and draw on the hermit too since we it's, it's such a big card. Why is the hermit here? 
it, you know, you're going to have to stop being the war warrior. You're going to have to stop, you know, being so tough. <laughs> Look at this, you guys. So we got the two of cups and the six of cups. So this is someone from the past. It was upside down. I just flipped it over. So I, like I said, I feel like someone has wronged you and it's definitely from the past. This is connected to family. This is connected to someone that you were really close to. They've kind of, they broke that connection, that bond, and it caused your heart to shut down. But um, then we have the two of cups. So you actually have another connection coming through when you're able to heal this. After you take this time to heal, you have a new connection. You have harmony. You have balance. This could be the masculine and feminine going on within you too, because we all have that masculine and feminine energy. And the warrior, I could see getting out of balance and being too masculine. And this has nothing to do with sexuality or gender or anything like that. We just all have these, um, you know, energies within us. So if you are more masculine, you know, I kind of grew up that way. I was a very masculine female. And, you know, I worked on cars. Um, I was like, I hang out with the guys and stuff like that. <laughs> very tomboyish. But it made my energy out of balance. I tried to be tough for so long that when I got older, became a mother, I had to flip. And then I went so far into the feminine that I was like crying all the time and sad and like very anxious. So what happens when our energy gets out of balance like that, like I was talking about, the universe will correct it because imbalance <laughs> is not balance and the universe always seeks balance. So if you've been living in a masculine energy for a really long time, you can expect a feminine energy to come through. Your emotions will come up in order to balance that energy out. So instead of having that happen, because I think that's honestly why some people have emotional breakdowns, is um, through, you know, actually purposefully, you know, intending to heal this, to work through these emotions and them kind of randomly coming through one day, you know, maybe you see something that reminds you of this, of your past, of this hurt, and you know, it just sets you off. I've seen that happen. It is not strange. Um, I've had it happen to me too. And it's literally just us trying to hold back our emotions for so long that they finally have to come out. And that's the only way to heal this. So I know that's not an easy thing to do. And I know you guys might be like, I have to forgive somebody. But you guys, I promise it is so healing when you forgive the people from your past. Like I said, this isn't about letting them into your life. Um, this is still about you setting your boundaries and making sure that you know, you are um, not taken advantage of by anybody, but this is about letting go and moving forward so you guys can release that. So you can allow something else into your heart, allow someone else into your heart. All right, my pile number twos. I think that is all that I have for you guys. I hope this reading gave you some clarity and have a super blessed day. All right, my pile number threes, this is going to be your reading for what you need to hear right now. You guys chose the card, the prayer. So this is all about getting guidance, you know, um, about manifesting. You are asking a higher power. You're tapping into this higher power and trying to get advice or ask for something to come through. So let's see what else we get here. What messages are coming through for my pile number three, Spirit? Connect with your energy here. I felt for some of you, um, you've kind of been in this, you, you've been fearful. Something has happened and, you know, created some fear. There's definitely a decision that's going to have to be made coming through. And I feel like that's what you're praying for at this time is some guidance for this, for making this decision. So hopefully I can get you guys some clarity here. Let's see what else is coming through. I'm looking at the Six of Cups ooh, and the Three of Swords. That's interesting. It came out actually in pile number two if you watch that. You guys are seeking guidance for something that has happened to you. You don't know which, you know, which way to go at this time. You don't know, you don't want to make the wrong move because you've actually either messed up in the past or something has messed you up in the past. And so now you're kind of just, I just keep getting this like fear, like I'm stuck. You're not able to move forward. The hangman in reverse. Yes, this is about release. Some of you guys are stuck so much though on um, something materialistic. So honestly, the hangman and then seeing the ace of pentacles and then the two of pentacles. 
You guys are stuck making a decision about something materialistic. It's overwhelming you. Um, let's see why the hangman in reverse is here. This is about letting go, you guys. You have to let go in order to receive whatever it is. If you're trying to receive, like I said, guidance. If you're trying to receive, um, you know, something, you're manifesting something. All of that you have to let go in order for the universe to actually be able to give you something here. So you've been working extra hard, overly hard at this. And I do, I feel like it's a time that you guys need to stop, kind of enjoy yourself. Stop thinking so much about this. Look at this. You're having to stick up and defend yourself so much for this thing. Working way too hard. So what happens is we get out of balance that way. And I feel like this is the two of pentacles again. You're out of balance. Um, your energy is out of balance. You put too much into this um, and you're not able to let it go. Let's see what else is coming through. Draw one more card. Look at this. You guys are waiting around for something. You're waiting around. You've been pushing really, really hard. It's not coming through. And you don't know why. I almost feel like you guys are getting angry about this. Angry and upset. But like I said, you have to let something go here. You have to let this go and be able to go and have fun and live your life. I'm looking at the Six of Cups. You need to find things in your life that you're grateful for. Things that um, make you happy. We have riches. <laughs> so it's coming. But... You know, we have Saturn and Capricorn. This is all about discipline, you guys. You're going to have to learn to discipline yourself in order for this to come through. This is about letting go. This is a lot about trusting the universe. We can stay in a state of prayer forever, but if we don't let go, we can never receive. Let's see what else is coming through. And like I said, I feel like this is going to happen. The intuition. Trust yourself. There's a lot to do with home here. Staying at home being at home. I feel like maybe you guys are at home a lot. Um, like I said, I keep feeling this fear and we have indecision. <laughs> now this has to do more with partnerships or businesses or, you know, business partnerships and stuff like that, the indecision. And like I said, with this two of pentacles, this is indecision. This is out of balance. You're not sure which way to go. But like I said, there's this not letting go of this situation. So you're kind of stuck <laughs> in between at this time, bouncing back and forth, wishing you had something, wanting something, pushing really, really hard, but never actually receiving it. The Six of Cups also talks about gifts. So yes, you are going to receive this. We have the riches and we have the Six of Cups, but you have to let go and trust at this time. I'm going to actually draw these cards too. They give a lot of... Um, healing energy. I keep hitting my camera. What does my pile number three need to hear? Yeah, there's fear around this prayer, what you're wanting. Sorry, I just got this too. There's this fear around something not man manifesting that like you are manifesting you're praying about it you want it really bad but there's so much fear around it that it's not happening and just because you put in a lot of hard work and effort does not mean that it's going to come through the universe does not look at our physical work at, you know to reward us it's more about you know our mental state our trust towards the universe that one is again for grounding. Interesting. So, like I said, you have this indecision going on. You are getting messages from spirit, I feel like. And I feel like that's when you're in a safe, quiet place. But then when you go out into the world, it's kind of like you get overwhelmed with the noise. And you're unsure and there's a lot of fear. Maybe a lot of people are talking, making you feel, you know, um, insecure about doing something here or manifesting this. But this underlining fear behind whatever you're asking for is causing it to not come through. So, you know, the suggestion here is to ground yourself, which grounding, grounding actually makes it to where we come back into a neutral state. So we're not one side or the other. We're just back in the center. We're back in this balanced state. 
where we're able to think clearly rather than having a bias on our mind. And so if you don't know how to ground, you can do it simply. You can do it through uh, meditation, mindfulness practices. You can take a shower. You can go on a walk in nature, which I recommend. And, you know, do this for, you know, an hour or so. Really try to remove whatever this extra energy is that's holding you back. And it's really a fear-based energy. And I feel like you guys are supposed to be focused on what you have in front of you. You're supposed to be focused on, you know, uh, we have the Four of Cups in reverse, which is looking at something that you can't have and really hanging on to that. And then we have the Six of Cups, which I feel like is kind of that gift. It's like, okay, you have a lot of gifts that you can look at, a lot of things that you can be thankful for and grateful for in your life. And it's time to look at those and see those at this time. Rather than focusing on whatever this fear is, whatever this pain is, that is holding you back from moving forward at this time. Let's draw another card. Let's see what's coming through. We have the lover's card. So I am getting a lot of energy around love, but this could also just have to do with harmony and balancing your energies back out. Um, my pile number twos had some stuff going on with balancing their energies. It makes sense. We all go through this. Um, and it's a really great way to heal and actually ground ourselves. come back to neutral, is balance our masculine and feminine energy. But this could have to do with actual, you know, a relationship. So let's pull on the lovers to see what's coming through for you guys. Like I said, I do know that this is about letting go, releasing this fear, <laughs> getting comfortable. This is actually the extra card in this deck. But I look at it as, you know, family, comfort, and things like that. And you have a lot of indication towards family and looking back into things that are nostalgic, the gifts in your life. I feel like this is in direction of like, you know, look at your family. Look at the people that are there for you. You consider family in your life. Um, these people are your support and they're there to help you with whatever is going on right now. If you're afraid to tell them. Because like I said, for some of you, this is about getting guidance about something and you're praying, but you may not be telling people that you're connected with the people that are closest to you. And this is kind of an indicator to me that you can trust them. You can trust these people in your life to give you advice, to lean on them. Maybe you don't tell them exactly what is going on, but you're just there and you, you know, you kind of receive that comfort. Because like I said, I just feel like there's so much fear um, you're holding on to but you're not going to be able to move forward until you release this. And for a lot of you, this is about you're trying to obtain something. You're trying to get somewhere. You're trying to do something. And until you do release this fear, it's going to keep coming back up and it's going to keep you stuck in this karmic loop. So yes, the message here for you guys definitely is about being grateful for what you have. Kind of look at what you have around you. Be grateful for that. And really release this fear here, grounding yourself, going out, having fun, and being comfortable. Um, something has made you very uncomfortable, and you deserve to feel comfortable at this time. You can always connect with spirit, but spirit's actually having you connect with, like I said, uh, friends, family, people that are close to you in order to release this energy. All right, my pile number threes, I think that is all that I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope it gave you a little clarity. Have a super blessed day.